Hello everyone and welcome to game number one in a series between Lucifer and Sonic. We see Lucifer spawning here as the gray undead on the bottom left hand side of the map. Meanwhile over here on the top right we have Sonic spawning as the yellow night elf. Night Elf versus Undead in this 1v1. This was taken from uh, Gera Cup 64, I believe, played on June 7th, 2016. So for all of you guys out there who do not follow my channel regularly, please consider subscribing. And yes, these games are still recently being played, unless you are watching this, you know, 30 years in the future and well then thank you anyways anyways let's go ahead and break things down and just, as we do get things underway it is going to be a demon hunter opening up most likely up against a death knight there is that death knight you can see that the ghouls are already being trained and in a demon hunter undead matchup excuse me night offers undead matchup oftentimes the death knight will bring will grab unholy aura first grab that rod of necromancy and then try and put a lot of pressure on his opponent meanwhile let's take a look at what's going down across on the other side of the map demon hunter picking up very powerful claws of attack plus six one of the best items in the game for the demon hunter at this stage just because he has such a high attack speed agility based heroes normally are very very high in damage with their basic attack speed the only one that i can think of that isn't is the shadow hunter but that's for another time or um, yeah that is for another time of discussion all right archer is now coming in here and oh nicely nicely done was trying to use the wisp in order to get a detonation off on both of those uh, skeletal minions did not get it meanwhile the demon hunter has gone all the way on the other side of the map now and is going after the forest troll high priest he is running relatively low on mana meanwhile skeletal minion gonna fall at the hands of an archer there there it goes demon hunter gonna pick up a well he is constantly getting healed but does end up picking up a fairly useful item and with that he is going to place down that sentry ward and now have better idea of where that death knight is death knight is coming around the corner and will be trying to chase down the demon hunter here there is a mana burn right there getting in some damage the death knight however not very much concerned about the lack of mana as it doesn't even have a single point of experience with no experience, no sign of death coil, and with no death coil, no real reason um, to have mana on a death knight, save for the fact that he does not want to take all of that damage there. All right. Also, interestingly, placing a sentry ward on the high ground here, which will allow him to see when his opponent is ever trying to move out. Ancient of War off to the north, going to be absorbing a bit of damage. There is a couple of ensnares. Where are the attacks going to be coming in from? There is Forest Troll High Priest and a Forest Troll Berserker joining in on that fight. Um, let's see what is going to get taken down right there. All right, there was one trapper. Meanwhile, the Death Knight is over here at the expansion, and he suspects that ex creeping is going on, and he is going to find his opponent at a very, very opportune time. Lucifer, is he going to be able to do anything really here? There is another mana burn, that Death Knight. Oh, the Death Knight, is he going to get the experience? Yes, he does, but he does not get the item. Experience, however, was a very big deal. The Death Knight now more than halfway to level two and the demon hunter is just sitting at level two himself that extra bit of 160 experience would have almost gotten or 120 experience would have almost gotten him to level three and at level two mana burn that is just a that is just so much mana denial that the death knight would then not be able to get death coils off later on when that lich and when that death knight such as now is at level two. Circuit of Nobility picked up by the Death Knight, making his rounds back across over here. Death Knight now wandering off to the north. Demon Hunter has the Panda in order to try and combat the ghouls that we will be seeing. All right, Devotion Aura. This is going to be bad though. Very, very bad potential creep jack and a beautiful Death Coil steal. Um, I believe to steal that last bit of experience. The Death Knight now going to be coming in here to finish off the remnants of this creep camp. And with this, the Death Knight is going to be very close, if not at level 3. Yes, he is a little bit worse for wear, doesn't have that much mana, but Obsidian Statues will quickly correct that as the game does go longer. Death Knight having to worry about this Demon Hunter, Staff of Teleportation. The Demon Hunter really, really wants to find a way to get to level 
three. That mana burn would have pretty much shut down the Death Knight completely. Meanwhile, you can take a look. Ancient of War now coming in across over here. This 5-3-3 three, three creep camp going to get cleared up. Panda will get to level two off of this as the Demon Hunter still chasing around that Death Knight. All right. This is the time when the undead is just wandering around with his solo hero, waiting for the remaining units, these obsidian statues, to join in on the fight in addition to that lich for a little bit of extra nuking damage and maybe some frost armor. More likely, though, we will be seeing dark ritual as... The Lich doesn't need Frost Armor nearly as much because there is no Blade Master in this Undead Night Elf matchup. Now, turning back around, let's take a look at this Death Knight. Takes a little bit of damage. Demon Hunter now coming back across over here. And it looks like, yes, we will have an engagement. And the uh, level 3, level 2 on the Panda. And this has got to be scary. But the Lich is around the corner. Takes a Frost Nova. Stealing a little bit of experience right there. As we are now trying to get a Mana Burn onto that Lich. How are the Lich smartly backs off from that engagement as we can still see more and more fighting coming across over here all right another mana burn that mana burn not really doing all that much really needs to get within range of that lich that lich is it going to get mana burn yes there it goes down to 89 or zero mana as the demon hunter almost going to get taken out he does teleport back home and is now pretty much back up to full shy of about 103 mana now Panda going to go ahead and finish off this Murloc Nightcrawler creep camp off to the north. If that Panda gets to level 3, level 2 Breath of Fire will be extremely, extremely helpful. Now, we are looking at Destroyer form coming in from the Undead as well. In addition to the Backpack upgrade, which we'll see if that is even really used. Naga Sea Witch rounding out the Undead Tri Hero, so to speak as the slow arrows and the cold arrows will make it very easy to pick off any sort of fleeing unit. All right, you can see the, that damage now coming across back over here. We may see a mana burn as well. Obsidian statues providing both hit points and mana. And this is always a very, very scary situation to be in as the Death Knight does pick up a Scroll of the Beast. Scroll of the Beast um, does increase the damage across all of your units. It is also worth 200 gold. We'll see what Lucifer values more there as the Death Coil arrows now just coming on to that Demon Hunter right there. All right. Panda now still sitting at level 2. He does have some Dryads. We haven't seen. Well, no, there is the transition into Crypt Fiends. A lot of ghouls up in that front line. And the unit composition right now is a bit interesting. Who's going to be able to come out on top and ahead so far as a mana burn does come across there. All right, some cold arrows now coming in as well as the demon hunter needs to figure out a way to heal. All right, Moonstone has been used. These moon wells are going to be healing back up just a bit, but this is not looking good for Sonic whatsoever. He does not have his bears out early enough. So the, those Druids of the Claw are only in Adept training. All right, let's continue this attack. Fighting inside a Night Elf base, it feels like the buildings themselves are literally fighting against you as well as we see the Ancients of Lore, Tree of Eternities, joining in on the fight. No Ancient of War in this front hand or front location here. As you can see, the Moon Wells are going to get slowly picked apart. Now, does not have that much Moon Well juice in those Moon Wells even to begin with. So this is going to be very difficult. Sonic does not really want to engage here. This is forcing an engagement that he does not like. There is a Mana Burn Death Knight as we now see the Destroyers going in after the Forest Troll High Priest. All right, a little bit of damage coming across. Panda, oh, gets the Potion of Invulnerability. Drunken Haze, Breath of Fire already across. Demon Hunter down to 200 hit points. Needs to figure out a way to stay alive and is not going to be able to do it. He, he gets taken down. Panda is going to fall in a matter of seconds. As you can see that that Panda already down to 123, down to one hit point. There he goes. And Sonic losing game number one to Lucifer. Lucifer just playing a very, very tight game right there. Not making any mistakes and coming out ahead. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed game one. Please stay tuned for game number two.